Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm here with my grabby wife, Laura. Uh, I'm here with my grasshopper husband, Nathan. <laughs> Not sure about that. <laughs> we're here to look at the, I guess it's loosely a board game, Grabbing Grasshoppers. It actually does have a board. So it is a board game indeed. It's by oh, this is this is like back from our childhood sort 90, of era. <laughs> 93, 92. Um, it's by Tyco Games, but I think originally it was published by Milton Bradley. I'm uh, not sure on that front. Uh, you probably can't see the oh, yeah, manufacturer by Milton, Milton Bradley. Yeah. Um, so you can probably take the lead since you actually own this when um, it no, came out. No, I didn't. So my, my cousin actually had this um, back back in the day when it came out and I thought it was so good when he came to visit and brought it with him and we got to play it and then I'm pretty sure he broke it. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, and, then, and then we didn't get to play it ever again. So, so. this would have been early to mid 90s latest um, in terms of when it was released. Yeah. It's very very easy and very basic. Um, yeah, it's a kids it's a kids game, but it's a good fun one. Let's just open it up yeah. and show. So we're not going to do a full playthrough and you'll see there's no real need to, but we'll show you the gameplay. Let us know by the way if you had this when when it came out. I'm surprised Laura did to be honest or Laura's I friend or cousin. cousin. <laughs> So you have your two nets for catching said grasshoppers. Yes, and then you have your grasshoppers. So, oh, I don't know if this is, oh, here we go. That's the grasshopper body legs, and they've got little, like, round kind of feet on them, and a suction cup on the middle and bottom of each one. Now, unfortunately, especially nowadays, if you find one of these secondhand, um, it's imperative that you find the grasshoppers with intact suction cups, otherwise the game is unplayable. Yeah, I mean you could probably buy new suction cups, but that would be annoying. <laughs> you will see why in a moment. There's no instructions either, I don't know They're that you the really... They're on the back. Ah, I was going to say. Okay. There is the board. It's a fairly small board. Um, again, it doesn't really need to be a large one. And we've got grab on grasshoppers and some red dots. Ooh, dots. Okay, so the gameplay go. consists, we're missing a couple of grasshoppers, but you'd basically put all the grasshoppers just above each red dot, mm -hmm. and then uh, before you start, each person pushes down four at once, and then when the game starts, you then uh, both players then release at the same time, and then they jump up and you've got to catch them. And that's it. <laughs> the the trick is you don't know when the grasshoppers will pop up, and they're also very quick. Yes, you've really got to go and grab those grasshoppers. So can I have my yes. net? So um, does it say on the in the instructions how long you play for or how many nope. rounds? It nope. just says play. Just okay. Play. So um, that, that so I suppose we are doing technically a playthrough, aren't we? So uh, <laughs> it does mention the manual if they're not sticking as well when you push them down, you can uh, uh, wipe I think wax paper over them and they oh, stick okay. twice as long. That's interesting. As a little hint. So did you want to push down these three? Can you get the other one or not? Yep. Ready? One, two, Hang on. three. I need to push him down. Ready? I hadn't pushed mine down yet. That's Ready? what I was asking. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> well, I got none. Um, they have gone everywhere. Uh, they one really flew have. off like that way. We, we're, this is, we're filming on a desk. One's flown off that way and it's gone completely off what is a very large office desk. One went um, in the box. One went in the box. I think there's some on the floor. My goodness. So, um, if and you, that's it. Yeah. If <laughs> you find, these, find this other one while you talk. If you find them with damaged suction cups, they won't stick down and they won't pop up properly, which sort of defeats the whole purpose of the game. Um, yeah, so I definitely use the recommendation of uh, rubbing some wax paper on it because then they stay down for a lot longer and it's a lot more of a, a tense game. Oh, oh, <laughs> what? oh. Whoa. I'm back with a grasshopper. They that, just pop up whenever they're ready. Uh, Wink. Yay! So you were waiting for that. I was. One. It's fairly easy to catch it, but you're just watching one. But <laughs> yeah, so it's it's a really good kids game. It's really easy to set up. It's really easy to play. Um, if you can find a second hand copy in good condition, you've, especially if you've got small children, I'd definitely pick it up. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And we have two little kids, um, for anyone who doesn't know, who are one and two years old. Um, and they're going to have a great time when they're old enough to kind of have the coordination to do it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, we won't scan the instructions like we normally do because they are on the box. And I doubt you would find, like, find this without the box itself. There you go. You can pause that. And that's the entire instructions. Ta -da. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know, did you have this back when it came out and what you thought? Hit subscribe and check out the link down below to our food review channel. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye. Bye.